mabinti wengi mtano wamekuwa kuangalia when you comes to style zako za kuvaa. Hii huwa inakupa cha shugani kama Vanessa. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Nasema hivi, ni moja kati ya wasanii wa kike ambao mabinti wengi mtano wamekuwa kuangalia when you comes to style yako ya kuvaa. Hii inakupa changamoto gani kama Vanessa? No, oh, I need changamoto cuz nikianza kuafikiria wao sitavaa kama mimi nitavaa kuwafurahisha wao. So it's always about kitu ambacho kinanifanya mimi nijisikie comfortable ambacho kinanipa uwezo wa kufanya kile ambacho ninatakiwa kufanya muda ule. Yeah, that's it. And obviously me ni mwanamke I believe women are so beautiful. So ku accentuate kile ambacho kina ina nakshi mwili au presence ya mwanamke. Yes. Ulivosikia uko kwenye list ya after school bash. Kwa haraka haraka ulifikiria utavaa nini na ukafikiria kwenda kwa stylist? Ah, yeah, nilikuwa tena niko safarini nimerudi tu muda huu. So nimepick tu kitu kabatini. Sikuwa sikujipanga vizuri yani. So I hope I'm okay. Wewe <laughs> unachukua dakika ngapi kujitengeneza mpaka kutoka? Inategemea, inategemea na event. Sometimes it takes longer than other times. Sometimes makeup is quite complicated. Sometimes it's quite simple. So, and it takes me between 30 minutes, back a one and a half hour. It takes me. Oh, she's going to be on the stage with makeup. Why? It's a man. It's like this. It's just like brandy night. Brandy night. Taji. Night. Taji. Uto forty. Night. Taji. Come on, kienda. Kienda shule bila kushain viatu na kuaje. Suna zibio. Yeah. Um, ni zambi gani ya fashion ambao wewe uwezi kuifanya yani kabisa? You know they say never say never. Huwezi jua labda anaweza kusema sitaka nifanye hivi sasa hivi hapo baadaye ikawa style fashion kwa hiyo labu or something ambacho nime ghafla nime nimekuja kukipenda. So I never say never in fashion. Unadhani style gani leo hii ukiamua kuivaa mashabiki wako au watu wengi sana watakushangaa? Ooh. Nadhani kibaa kiba full kitenge from head to toe watu watashangaa alafu nishishone mshono wa kizasa nadhani watanishangaa unadhani wewe identity yako mtaani ni ipi when you comes to style zako i think my my style is free it's very free so that's my identity like um vibrant um flexible versatile yeah ushai kufikiria kupanda stage ni nadira nilifanya fiesta moja na nilizinunua nili, kabisa mimi na madam zangu wote zilikuwa tumepanga kupanda na dealer lakini kuna kitu kilitokea tukakatisha ile plan. Yeah. Um, ni msanii gani kimbele mbele ambaye waga unaelewa sense ya style yake ya mapanga? Um, Gwen Stefani, Tiana Taylor, uh, obviously Rihanna, we love Rihanna. Beyonce squeeze anakuja kwa kasi kweli. <laughs> and then um, I also really 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 like kuna msichana mmoja alikuwa kwenye nimesahau jina lake but she was a lead kwenye series moja inaitwa Gossip Girl. She dresses really nicely. Yeah. Wewe ni mnazi wa kitu gani? Kuna baadhi ya wadada wao wanapenda mapochi, kuna wengine wanapenda nywele, kuna wengine wanapenda nguo. Wewe kitu gani ambacho unanunua hata kiwa mamilioni? Viatu. Si, sina tena sina gapochi, yani I barely buy purses lakini kwenye viatu yani unanipoteza kwenye viatu na miwani. Viatu na na miwani, glasses. Glass, 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 all day. Am um, kwa haraka haraka tu una boots pe ngapi? Oh. Oh ma, sijui, sijui. Maybe boots peke yake kama boots. Maybe like 20 pairs of boots maybe. Yeah. Tofauti, open ones, closed ones, short ones, tall ones, long ones. Nazo, kwa mwaka huu kwenye Chugo Fiesta 2017 wadada wengi wameonekana wakivaa boots. Unadhani sababu gani ambayo imekuwa trend kubwa sana kwa wadada kuvaa boots? Boots are trendy, especially when you perform and zina leta zina leta element ya showbiz. Uwe zikuwa but sana sana mchana da Islam kutoka na njio tuna hali ya hewa. Lakini ukiwa kwenye stage unapata fusa kufanya hivyo because that's a different platform altogether.